the drive from uh, Scone here into uh, Glenbourne Dam uh, was a bit of a disaster. I did miss a signpost and ended up wobbling off up the road uh, before I realised my mistake. But all's good. Uh, I got myself checked in here for two nights, got a fishing licence organised uh, for New South Wales, a uh, little bit of bait. And uh, after driving around a little bit, I've chosen this uh, camp, camp spot. The lady uh, I paid fees to up at the uh, station, uh, she was telling me that it's only really greened up like this over the last few days. Um, it's all been fairly uh, horrible. Uh, and certainly the last few times I was here, we'd be going back at least seven years, uh, perhaps even longer since I, I come here. I think 2010 I did stop right up at the other end and everything was just rocky and sandy and quite horrible. So I have uh, no problem at all uh, with the rain that they've received around here. I'd say we're going to get some more in another hour or so, possibly earlier. Uh, but yeah, what a nice spot. And uh, just a little walk down there to the water. And what I'm going to do is just uh, set up the caravan and then I'll, um, I'll just build a fire. There are some rocks in front of that tree over there. And, uh, you know, I can just walk down and throw a line in if I feel so inclined. Excellent. The yeah, Glenbourne Dam, it's only about 13 kilometres or so out of Scone in uh, New South Wales. And it's, it's quite a pretty spot. There's the uh, dam wall itself right over there in the background. So I camp pretty much directly opposite that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you drive over that to get here actually. And uh, quite a few clouds and what have you on the horizon so I don't think we've seen the last of the rain and the other thing too because the dam I think is up at about 91 percent so I'm uh, I'm actually used to seeing a hell of a lot more shoreline than this and uh, a lot of this ground is it's quite sort of cantered over so I mean I've picked what is basically the flattest spot that I can and that's sitting amongst some nice little shade trees actually so I'm catching a fair bit of breeze up there as well that is real sweet and that's just looking back at some of the other camping areas uh, these are all the unpowered sites there is more of a sort of a posh part of uh, Glenbourne Dam you can even get cabins and what have you if you want but this will do me what a gorgeous little spot and uh, not too far from the shoreline and there is the view from my camping chair not too scruffy at all and uh, it's just after three o'clock now so I shall probably wait just a little bit longer before I start chopping wood and uh, I think I'll just have that fire pit over there uh, I've bought a bale of wood and I've still got some wood in my old fire bag uh, yeah all, all, all is well okay so this will be the last campfire I have on the trip down to mum's I'll uh, be checking out of here tomorrow uh, the weather does appear to have improved quite a lot actually today. There's a lot more blue sky than we've seen. It rained again heavily last night, uh, which wasn't real good because I'd left the flap of the roof up, so there was a bit of water to clear up this morning. But uh, it's been quite nice today, quite cool. I've just sort of been pottering about. The place is just starting to fill up a little bit. There's some people with boats and tents and what have you up on the top. Uh, otherwise, I've pretty much had this place to myself. And that will be the last campfire provided to me by this green bag. That'll go straight in the dumper on the way out tomorrow, but uh, faithful service I've had from that. Mm -hmm.